Hello, Taurus. This message is for you. It is a five card message. The only thing, Taurus, is that this message today is for my single Tauruses. Tauruses who are single, they're not connected to anybody. They might have been, but they're not currently. All right? If that's you, stick around. Here we go. Okay, Taurus. I have the Hidden Truth Oracle cards. And this is what I believe your person that you are letting go of wants to say or feels. I feel you even though we are apart. You were the best thing in my life. It's time for me to heal now. I wish I could take back my words. Somebody's regretful. Somebody wishes that they could, um, you know, and don't we all in certain ways turn back time and do things differently, right? Your energy, the first energy, is guarded. You're holding on to something. You're holding on to certain, a certain pattern. You are blocking your heart chakra, you might be blocking off this person. And then you have wish fulfillment. So I think you are trying to plan. This is the first timing card of three that's in this spread, Taurus. In the spring, in the future, you are planning. You are planning something, perhaps something that you want. This is the wish card. It for your future. You are guarded though when it comes to love, when it comes to um being alone or being single but you are planting seeds you're prep you're preparing you're always ready we stay ready right taurus and i think it leads to a wish fulfillment right or you're planning for your wish you're planning for the thing that you want now what you need to focus on is a soulmate right this is a reunion. This is a soul tie. This is somebody that you have a soul tie to that leaves you or makes you feel left out in the cold. This is the five of pentacles. This leaves you in a vulnerable spot and you don't like that feeling. So you're putting an end to it and spirits assisting you put an end to it. It's a karmic um, completion. It's a chapter of your life closing Taurus because you have gained the clarity. You understand what happened you have a heightened intuition you're using your heightened intuition to close this uh to close this cycle out that no longer serves you right and you're focusing on that what's been difficult i think this and i always say that this is new romance it could be difficult too to love yourself it could be difficult to uh find a romantic offer that is worthy of something that you want to be with Somebody feels like they've sabotaged something. Somebody feels guilt. Somebody feels sorrow, anxiety, insomnia. This is the nine of swords. Um, for some of you or somebody around you, because um, energy is kind of, it's, it's dual. This is a feeling of loss. This is fear. This is regret. This is remorse. This is, um, why did I do that? Why did I do that? This could be, I wish I could take back my words, right? And this too. You were the best thing in my life. Then we have Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Energy, Major Arcana. This card is talking about divine interventions, divine um, detours, um, being led down a different path that leads to happiness, right? But maybe you're not seeing that right now. But as you close out this karmic and you and you stop being vulnerable, you see things as you understand and you use your intuition and you understand things are not as they appear. And if this is a struggle, that's spirit taking you through those detours, but you don't see them as um, divine detours because of the moon. Because... It, it's hidden from you. However, 
things are not as they appear meaning, yes, you're alone. It's okay. I'm alone. But saying that, it's not, you have some barriers, something, some things that are not being seen um, fully yet. I hope I'm making sense, Taurus. Okay. In the future, you have two timing cards. The first timing card oh, was this one, Autumn. This is about harvesting, about letting go, about pillaging, starting over, clearing out. Your soul has grown. You closed out a chapter in your life, right? It, you've seen the clarity. Then you have a rebirth. This is like the um, hermit card. You're turning inward, you're self-reflecting, you're cleaning up the garbage, you're cleaning up the crap, and you're moving forward, right? And as you move forward, this is the death card. And to me, the death card is like cocoon, like um, the rebirth and then the letting go, the shedding of the old body, the shedding of the old pattern, the shedding of the old way. It is time for me to heal now, meaning you, Taurus, you let that go, right? And that's the power and the resilience and the transformation that makes you so beautiful and helps you to restore um, feelings, nostalgic feelings, having feelings. This, this is the outcome. It's memories. It's missing someone, yes, but maybe it's a person from, um, it's, it's a person that's made you feel this way, right? It's change. You change yourself to feel that way. Look at this. As you've healed, as you've let go, memories start coming back. Things that you've forgotten about. Ways that are, you know, new passions that you want. And you go on a journey and you change and you use this opportunity and this karmic, this balance, this justice that's here is for you. It's for you. It's a karmic, um, and it's from the divine. It's those divine detours that you can't see helping you out. Stop feeling guilty. Stop feeling like you sabotage something. You have not. Stop feeling like you are not good enough to love because you are, and that's what this says. Nurture yourself, Taurus. Your karmic justice is to nurture yourself. Love is coming. It this 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 toxic person that didn't treat you the way that you needed to be treated. Somebody's here to take care of you. Somebody's here to nurture you. Your ancestors are all around you, helping you temper, this is Sagittarius energy, temper the water balance. It even says trans transmutation, right? I'm not making this up. All right, I hope I helped. Like, share, and follow for more. Take care, Tauruses.